Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Beauty Passion, y'all. Happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday, happy Taco Tuesday, yay! All right, I hope everybody weekend was great and your Columbus Day was great. I think that was Columbus Day yesterday. Everybody was out. I was out downtown, had a great time, enjoyed my family, relaxed. Had a great Monday. I hope everybody Monday was great as mine. All right. <clears throat> Let me respond to a couple of things that is on my heart and on my mind. But first, before I get started with this video, I need you to like my video. I need you to like my video right now because you already know it's going to be great. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, who better? Who better? Ain't nobody better than Beauty Passion. Nobody. All right, listen. I have a couple of concerns. When I'm doing commentary and reactions to these videos, the couple of videos or comments that I have did reactions to the way Armand dresses, when he tried to dress his Regine, people don't understand where I'm coming from with it. So I'm going to address my feelings about it now these are my feelings i'm not putting my experiences nothing on armand and regina's union but these are my experiences you know how as an older person if you've been through something with somebody and you start seeing the same kind of demeanor, gestures, it brings you back to the person you was with. It reminds you of something that happened to you in your past. So listen, this is what I'm saying, y'all. And this is allegedly whatever. These are my thoughts. If y'all agree with me, y'all agree with me. If y'all don't, y'all don't. But I just want to let y'all know that when I say I don't like our mind dressing, Regine, this is where I'm coming from. This is the space I'm coming from. Regine is a successful young black woman not only has she been born into royalty she also has made a bag for herself so when a man comes into her life it is going to be difficult for someone to control that she don't need no man to pay her bills buy her a car she don't need none of that she can go and literally get all that stuff herself she got the money she worked hard and she can go and get all that stuff herself me and the, the at the space that Regine is in, as a adult woman, older woman, I'm in that same space. Regine is significantly younger than me, so she take care of her business the same way I take care of my business. When a man comes into my life, it's going to be hard for him to control anything around me. One, I don't need your money to pay my rent. Two, I don't need you to buy me a car. I could buy my own car if I really wanted to. And three, I don't need you to feed me. I can go into the best restaurants and eat if I want to, okay? So those things we do have in comparison. We're just in two different age brackets. I'm in my, I, I'm older than her. Regina is younger than me and she getting a bag, okay? So I'm an independent woman just like Regina is. And Regina has been independent for a while now. Even when she was with Lucci, she still had things. She still made a way for herself where she can have her own bag. So again, when a man comes into my life or either Regina's life, they're going to come and look around. It depends on what kind of man it is, but I'm just going to be honest. A man is going to come around and they're going to look and see, I, I hate to say it, what they can control or things they're going to pick out in it that they don't like. It just is one of those things. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying Armand is like this. I'm not saying this. I'm not saying Armand is like this. But I'm just pointing out something that I see, that I seen in a relationship that I was with. And when this person came into my life, they start to look around and see what is it that they can control. They start scratching stuff off the list. I can't control that. Dang, I can't control that. Woo, I can't control that. And for me, the one thing that they always ended up on was the way I dressed. And, and I'm just, I'm just going to put this out here. I, my body, 
I'm I'm curvy. I have a curvy body. I got boobs and I got butt. I have a curvy body. I always had a curvy body since I can remember. I've had a curvy body since like fifth grade. I'm just going to be honest. Now, do I got the biggest butt in the world? No, but my shape is curvy. Nothing on me is flat. Okay, so with me saying that, Regine is being a young woman. She has a curvy body. She just has a curvy body. I don't know what else to say it. Oh, what I'm saying is, is to say that when I, I see things, I have a different demeanor because I'm an older woman. And I've been through a lot more um, experiences than a person. So when I see stuff and pick up on stuff, it relates back to something that I went through. And to be honest, most of the time it be true. And I'm just saying, I love Regine and our mom for each other. But the fact that in my past, when I dealt with relationships, and again, a person I dealt with is not our mom. But... When I dealt with people in the past that tried to control me and they couldn't find something to control, they started to try to control the way I dress. Again, I dress sexy because my body is not a mama body. Like I got a curvy body. I got a flat stomach. I have a curvy body. So sometimes when I put on stuff, it's going to give out sex appeal. When we look at Nene... <clears throat> She's the it girl. So when she is putting on her clothes and she is dressing, she has fashions. She's putting on stuff that, that is it girl stuff. It girl stuff is never baggy and loose. It girl stuff, stuff is mostly short, see-through. Um, um, short. Most of the time it's short, see-through, and tight. And the way Nene body is shaped, she has a shapely body. She worked hard on her body. She worked hard to make her body look a certain way so she can look a certain way in clothes. That's why we rarely see her in jogging pants, t-shirts, stuff like that. If she gets on the internet, she's mostly in fashionable clothes that are short, see-through, revealing, and tight. All I'm saying is, I was in a situation where the guy that I was with tried to control what I wore because they couldn't control nothing else. Okay, that's all I'm saying. So when I see that, and let's just get this together. Our mom, I don't think he's pressuring her to dress like me, dress, dress like I want you to dress. But I don't think that because I'm just on the outside looking in. I don't think that. But the couple of times that I seen her get up here and say, our mom dressed me. They have not been tight clothes at all. They've been loose clothes. So what I'm saying is, I'm picking up at, on that as a form of control. And I'm just being honest. People are not going to like the word control, but it just is what it is. When a man tries to control, in my past, when a man tried to control something, he controlled the way I dress. You might have met me in a short skirt, a short dress, something that was sexy, it attracted you. But now that we are in a relationship and we together, you can't go out like that. I got to go back in the house and put on some a long t-shirt and some um, baggy jogging pants because he don't want me going out in this short dress that I wear. And I look, I think I look pretty in, but for him, he's like, it's too revealing. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me get, let me get something right. All men aren't like that. The last man that I dated loved that I dressed sexy. You see what I'm saying? He didn't have a problem with that. He didn't change nothing about me. He wanted me to put on heels. He wanted me to put on short dresses. He was fine with the way I dressed. I'm talking about the ones that tried to control me. That was the one thing that they always would start with, is trying to control the way I dress. So when I'm doing these videos and I'm saying, nay, nay, don't let him pick out your clothes, I mean, Nene, don't let him dress you. It's because when he's dressing her, he's putting her in jogging pants and big baggy clothes. I'm just being honest. So now that I'm picking up on that, this is the second video I've seen that he tried to dress her in big baggy clothes. Nene was not, Nene was visibly not happy by what she had on in this last video. They were going to a breakfast spot, a popular, let me add, a popular 
breakfast spot in Atlanta. Now, listen, we only see what we can see. We don't know if that was the plan. We don't know if that's just something they popped up on. But I'm this is just my observation. And again, this is all allegedly. This is my opinions, whatever. They're going to a popping breakfast restaurant in Atlanta. Breakfast at Barney's. That's a very expensive, like I said, popping spot in Atlanta. Why would Regine want to go there in jogging pants and a big ass hoodie? I'm just being honest. Why she's a influencer. She, everybody in Atlanta knows Regine Carter. She's been living there for a while. Why would she want to go there in baggy clothes? You can visibly tell she was not, she didn't even want to talk on camera. She didn't even want Armand to video record her because of what he had, what she had on. He was still trying to convince her that what she had on was fine. Now, me on the outside looking in, she don't go out like that, especially not to restaurants like that. She's never going to go to a restaurant with a hoodie on and some jogging pants. I'm just being honest here. The way Regine wants to dress, let her dress that way. Somebody in the comments also said that he's trying to put baggy clothes on her to cover up her curvaceous body. It all, it all goes into what I'm saying. I, he might not be trying to control her, but maybe he don't want other guys looking at his woman. Even though we've seen Regine Carr, we've been looking at Regine Carr's for a while now. We realize everything about Regine. Even when she enhanced her body, I'm going to leave it like that. So we've been seeing that change in her for a while now. Like we see her body. It's a nice shapely body. He's not covering, he's covering up something that everybody has already seen. So I don't know if he's saying like, he don't like that. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know. But what I'm saying is when I say, nay, nay, don't let him dress you. It would be different if he was trying to dress her in influencer clothes or fashionable clothes. I'm seeing jogging short pants and a t-shirt. That she just happened to tie up to make it look cute. That was the Instagram pic. I didn't like that pic. I've never seen Regine and nothing like that on Instagram. If it's comfortable, the, the top, it, it just, I didn't like the outfit. However y'all might say it, I didn't like the outfit. That was the opening of it. This last vlog, I didn't like that outfit at all. She had a big zip up hoodie on and some jogging pants. I didn't like that. Armand said he dressed her, however it go. I open up the, the, the reaction video and say, don't start this video with no BS. That is the space that I'm coming from. Because I'm being honest with my subscribers. In a, in, and I'm being honest based on the type of guy that I was dating at that time. Not saying Armand is that guy. But I'm just saying the guy that tries to control me. And this is more than one guy that I've ran into to try to do this to me. He tries to control what I wear because he can't control anything else. And I'm just saying, Nene got money. She taking care of her business. She don't, mean a, she don't need a man for nothing. Me and Nene in the same space, baby. We in the same space. I'm just being honest. So at the end of the day, when we meet guys, it, it, depending on what kind of guy we meet, they might try to control something. And for some reason, I see that he may be is trying to control the way that she dressed based on the fact that like he don't want nobody else looking at her or he might just try to be controlling the way, control something because he can't control nothing else. I'm just saying, take this as you want to take it. This is not to hate on our mind at all. I'm just pointing out something that I'm observing. Somebody also said in the comments about he just trying to cover her up. I didn't even think like that, but that's really all the same thing. Control, cover up, that's all the same thing. Some men don't like other people to look at their girlfriend, period. They don't like that. They don't like what other people look at their girlfriend curves, their boobs, their ass, their lip. They don't like that. They like for you to cover up when you go out in public. I had a couple men have told me to go back in the house and change my clothes. Yeah. So I'm just pointing out something that I am observing. You all can take it the way you want to take it. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. But I'm just observing something that is like when I be like, nay, nay, don't let Armand dress you. It's not a hate. 
It's not a hate. It's a something that I'm seeing based on something that happened to me in my past. Not saying that our mind is this way, but I'm picking up on that. And not saying that he's saying, you got to wear this when we go out. He's probably not saying that to her. But the fact that they went to a fancy restaurant in ATL and she in jogging pants and jogging suit. Now, let's be granted. Somebody say maybe she didn't have no, no clothes over there. I'm just being honest. It can't take that long for her to run home and get a cute outfit. She don't even do her makeup. She put on lip gloss. That would have took 30 minutes probably for her to run home, pick out a cute outfit and get to breakfast at Barney's. I'm just being honest. The way Demina, the way Reginae Demina was, she didn't like that outfit at all. She pulled it together when they got to the restaurant. She did. She pulled it together. But the opening scene, she did not like what she was wearing. Okay? So that's when I when I'm I'm coming from a place of like if Reginae was somebody in my family or my daughter or somebody that I always come in contact with and I seen that seeing what I'm seeing on screen, I would have had a conversation with her. Like, listen, I'm just I'm my reactions are just out in the open because I have a YouTube channel. But so, so most of my reactions are genuine. But if this was somebody that I knew personally, I would pull her to the side and ask her or be concerned about that. I'm just saying, even though it might not be none of my business, you know, at the end of the day, this might not even be none of my business, but I'm just pointing out some things that I've observed and I just am relating to different situations that I had in the past with guys. All right. That's all. It's nothing, no hate, no shade, no nothing. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments below. Let me know, am I tripping? Do y'all see it? Have y'all been in a similar situation as me and maybe Regine? Have y'all been in a similar situation as that? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Hecky now, Joe. It's Beauty Passion and I'm out.